All right, last but not least, I'm going to be doing the final problem you had on your homework. Rotating 90 degrees clockwise, about negative 5, 4. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my points. Right here, I'll call this A. I'll call this B. I'll call this C. Now, again, I understand some of you might be able to just visualize these and just run with it. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. However, if you have a bit, bit of trouble doing these rotations, this can be very helpful. One, two, three, four, five. Negative one. And what's the first thing I'm doing is I'm just writing down my coordinates. One, two, three, four, five. Down one, two. Negative five. Negative two. And the other one, nice and easy enough. Or actually, I should probably reverse that. Make that C. And then B. Negative five. Negative three. All right, so you notice I have my steps, I got my rules. I can start flying with this. I'm gonna throw my coordinates off to the side here. Don't mind the noise of my dogs. All right, so I'm gonna start with A. Now, first step, I'm gonna write down my coordinates and then I'm going to subtract my rotation point. Minus negative five, minus negative four. 5 minus negative 5 gives me positive 10. 1 minus negative 4 is going to give me positive 3. All right, step 2. Time to rotate. I'm going to rotate my new point. So since it's 90 degrees, I know I'm going to flip it. 3, 10. Now I got my rules down here just to double check. I'm doing clockwise. My new Y, I take, make it the opposite. So my new Y is 10 here. I'm going to make this negative 10. Just like so. All right. So now, next step. Now that I've done my rot rotation, I'm going to add my rotation point back in. So, 3 plus negative 5 gives me negative 2. And then negative 10 plus negative 4 gives me negative 14. So, my new A, or A prime, A1, is going to be negative 2, negative 14. So I can go down to here, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Awesome. I'm going to label that A prime. All right, so I got A out of the way. I'm going to tuck it away right over here. Got a little bit of space. Now I'm going to jump to B. So now for B, I had negative 5, negative 3. And again, repetition can help because now what I know I'm going to do Subtract my rotation point. Minus negative 5, minus negative 4. This gets me to negative 5. Minus negative 5 gives me 0. Negative 3 minus negative 4 gives me 1. Now, for my rotation, I'm going to flip my coordinates. Now my y becomes negative. What do I do with 0? Zero? 0 can't be negative. I'm just going to keep it as it is. So now I can just shrink it down. And now I add my rotation point back in. Plus negative 5, plus negative 4 gets me to negative 4, negative 4. So now I can go to my coordinates here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right here where B prime is. Well, right here where B is, I'm going to put B prime. Okay. Last but not least, time to do C. I'm going to shrink this down, tuck it away over here. Now for C, negative 5, negative 2. All right, once again, I'm going to subtract my rotation point, minus negative 5, minus negative 4. This gets me to 0, 2. All right, so now I do my rotation, flip my coordinates. Again, I have 0 as my Y, so... That's kind of cool because I don't really have to, can't really make it an opposite. So now I add that rotation point back in. Plus negative 5, plus negative 4, and I get negative 3, negative 4. So now I can go down to here, 1, 2, 3, down 1, 2, 3, 4. I call that C prime. And now I'm done. I can connect my dots just like so. And I've got my new rotated shape. And as you know, I do like to color these in. I'm going to do that. Looks pretty good.
And I did forget to put my rotation point in. I really should have done that. But that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Down 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would be right about here. So the goal is now I should be seeing 90 degree angles. And believe it or not, dot, 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 dot. I do. I can see these 90 degree angles. The problem is that it can be a little tough when you're doing it from another point when you're not rotating about the origin. So that's why these rules can help. If you have trouble visualizing it, you can go with this rule. Remember, subtract the rotation point, then you get a new point out of it right here, then you rotate it, perform your rules that we got down here, and then once you do your rules, then you add your rotation point back in. And ta-da, you're done. Again, the reason you're doing that is because essentially you're creating a new coordinate grid right here. You're doing a little new coordinate grid that you're rotating everything around. Again, that can be tough for some people. Sometimes you can't necessarily see that. Some people have trouble doing that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because, you know, maybe someone can't visualize that, hey, this is a 90... Whoop. Now I'm getting a 90 degree angle here from A to A. You get it, but it might be tough to see. So that's why these rules can be very helpful. So if you've had trouble with the other three, feel free to watch my videos, and hopefully this gets you at least a little bit further with this and gives you a little bit of practice. Good luck.